guys, this is Sharin again from Sukupa Profi team. So, um, I've had this faces for quite a while now, but I haven't had the opportunity to have a go with it yet. Um, as good as it may be, as good as the parts may be, I am having issues with getting the right body for it. You see, the wheelbase for the MST CFXW is 300 millimeter. Yeah, that's from the front to the back. I mean, from the front axle to the back axle. It's 300 millimeter. Now, the normal bodies that not not normal, but the the, the most the more popular bodies out there are with 313 millimeter wheelbase. That's for the standard uh, axial SCX10, SCX102, and so on and so forth. Um, so this thing is too short for a standard SCX10 313mm body but it's too long for a Defender Defender is about uh, 280 if I'm not mistaken I can't remember correctly but it's it's too short for SCX10 I mean it's too short for an SCX10 body too long for a Defender D90 body so that has created a little bit of dilemma for me so I've been looking around trying to find a solution and um, um, the body which I really want to use with this is my none other than my uh, SR5 from uh, Proline I've had this body for a while uh, it's all painted up uh, some mishaps but it's done it's ready but I don't have any chassis to put it on so this body is ready so I want to put it here so that's if you can see right away oh, sorry you can see right away the wheel base is really really off I mean it's absurd so finally I got a solution how? via this this is the Boom Racing uh, BR967 7010S stainless steel links with ball ends 313mm wheel base so what, the, what this does is it transforms the um, normal CFXW um, wheelbase from 300mm to 313mm so I gonna, I'm gonna just open it up and, um, and um, you'll see on, from there on <clears throat> so I got all the parts out from the back um, so what I'm currently seeing is that there are different uh, lengths in, 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 in the links itself so I'm pretty sure um, it's meant for the front part the back part and um, this would be the for the steering links so I have I didn't open this one but I think it's a bit too long for the plastic so it protrudes the plastic so what I can see here is that this thing is machined this whole thing is is, is machined together I mean with the um, threaded part here so in terms of stability I mean in terms of strength this is way beyond what I'm expecting so this is very good it's a little bit it's not heavy but you know I think it will add substantial weight to your rig but having said that I mean that would be so much better right I'm not gonna show everything on screen I'll probably just install this first or you know do step-by-step -step installation and I'll, and I'll show you to you guys yep so I've done um, putting in the rod ends, ball ends into the links um, I must say I was quite confused in the beginning because you see there's different lengths in the uh, on the links itself there are some medium medium length ones shorter lengths and then there's the longer ones uh, and for the rod end um, it has different shapes um, this one is slanting uh, I mean this one is um, a bit slanting a bit slanting in then you have the straight ones for the straight ones you have the short straight ones and also the long straight ones yeah I hope you can see that do I need to do this yep uh, and finally you have the one which are a little bit awkward and it's slanting in just like that right so 
uh, there's no instructions, manual or anything. So I was a bit confused in the beginning. But then I remembered I, um, AJT have, have came out with a video, instructional video. So then after that, after watching it for a bit, um, 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 then I realized it's how easy it is. So first thing, first the slanting ones, the ones which are like, I don't know, it's slanting in like that. So even looking at it, you should be realizing that it should be for the um, steering links, steering links on the drag link. But on the drag link itself, um, you have one slanting and one short straight ones. Now, um, for the ones which are slanting in like that, these are meant for, uh, you should have eight of that, right? One, two, two, was it eight? One, two, yeah, 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 should have eight. Um, these are meant for all the ones for the outer part, not the one on the um, skid plate. It's for the outer part. Seats here, one, two, and also down there, two. Let me just pick that one up. Okay, so for something part, it's meant for this, this one here, these two here, and also this one, another one here. And it's the same things, same thing for the back side, um, both here and both down there. That's for the something part. Now, for the straight part, um, there's short and there's long. In the video, it says the short ones are meant for the front links, right? It's, it's meant for the front links, two here and two there. So there's four of them, right? And then it says in the video, the long ones are for the um, rear links. Uh, the one which are on, supposed to be on the skid plate one two three and four but in the packaging i only get um six i got six short ones and only two of the long ones hmm so i don't know maybe i heard it wrong or whatnot i didn't review the, the video I, I did review the video again again and again but uh, as far as i can hear it keeps on saying you should have four of the long uh, rod end. We only have two. So I decided um, to put the longer ones on the lower links and the shorter ones on the upper links, which are uh, 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 which are the upper links. Here, short one, right? So I'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, um, just for your note, the. Uh, front links one are exactly the same length as the one that you have on the CMX. Uh, sorry, the CFXW, the original CFXW. So the only one will differ is the one on the back. It uh, doesn't matter though, because uh, this link is damn, damn, damn solid. Uh, it is, I believe it's M4. And I don't know how you can destroy this, because this is damn solid. And uh, FYI, uh, uh, Boom Racing has already came out with the same links at uh, the same, I believe the same great materials for the Lossy Rock Ray <laughs> I'll probably be getting that one as well soon um, as soon as I get my Lossy Rock Ray but enough of that uh, I'm gonna continue installing all these links into the, into the kit and I'll come back after that and show you the, the result I believe I need to change the length of the um, drive shaft as well, but that should be easy. Well, that's done. Um, it was quite an easy task. I mean, since the um, shock absorbers are mounted, directly on top of the axle so removing the um, older links are quite easy um, so everything is done I am very much satisfied with, with what I'm seeing right now it does make the um, overall weight of the rig slightly heavier but I don't think that should be an issue um, so this mounted uh, the whole thing is already mounted as per 
what I've shown you earlier and everything fits um, quite quite well I must say um, so I haven't mounted the um, shock mounting post shock post eh, sorry body post but um, looking at um, if I just mounted it like this looking at it I think this is pretty much spot on yep that should be the way it's mounted I have removed the front bumper from the original chassis just to fit in the, um, the, the body don't know yet my most probably I'm gonna cut the, the, the um, you know the Lexan bumper and put in the, the plastic bumper just to have that little bit of extra protection well um, I'm happy finally I can mount the SR5 um, but as I said it does gives a little bit of um, extra weight to the body I mean to, to the JC that's fine with me um, so after this I'm gonna mount all the electronics on and then probably give it a go but probably just inside the house I don't know right so there you have it a um, boom racing uh, MST CFX W JC uh, extension link it converts your 300 millimeter original MST CFX W wheelbase to a 313 millimeter uh, wheelbase which will suit any of the bodies out there which are meant for the XLS X10 but face it I mean the market is flooded with that that, that uh, kind of body which has that wheelbase so it's much easier to put that in that in that sense you know so can't wait to try this one um, that's it for this video um, if you like it um, please click the like button um, subscribe to me and also if you can just share this video thank you and uh, have a nice day